causing Ward's disaster, which does not mean that there was something wrong going on yeah, with our eyes. Hello, people of YouTube. My name is JD Shadow, and this is Reacts Through Sailor Moon Crystal Act 2 2 22. The hidden agenda. Apparently, we're gonna make like Marlon Brando and give Nemesis an offer that they cannot refuse. Is that joke? Several times. Anyway, we might be seeing Black Lady this time with Tommy Wiseau. Wise Man is probably gonna make a ton of different appearances in this particular episode. Let's get to the episode Sailor Moon Crystal Act 22 Hidden Agenda Nemesis. Let's do it. No, 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 please don't do that, Chibiusa. Why would you do that? And the thing is blowing and shaking. So, the very fabric of time and space is killing Pluto? No, really? So we kind of got a glimpse about what was about to happen there. The whole idea behind Chibiusa taking the wise man's hand, becoming Dark Black Lady, and where fabric of time and space is about to be destroyed by this decision? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be back later. Fuck you. We don't want nothing else to do with you. What was that sound, by the way? Ooh, what is that? That looks like crimson rupees, but a little bit charred. Nemesis was this phantom in Moroarity. Damokono Hoshini Chikazi to a Kenakatana. But he did. What makes you think it's Grips and Rubius? Again! Oh, Pluto! Do something about her. Please do something about her. Which is that way, apparently. Or that way. You don't think he cares, do you? Prince da Damande has got to be the worst pr prisoner keeper ever. She, he's letting her walk around like this. And then there's this asshole. And that one. あの部屋には誰も近づきたくないからな。ああ、何が起こっても what are they saying that it's alive? A, a room is alive and he's carrying her like a creeper? Hi. That is a little telling though. That Prince Damande, even though he's acts like a creeper, that he really actually cares for her. Ooh. <laughs> well, there's one way of telling you to get your hands off. Very interesting effect, but the CGI seems to be skipping some frames. I've always thought about that with the CGI. Sometimes the, it's not as smooth as it probably could be. It's red. Even though your planet is red. Oh, thank you for giving me a seizure, Sapphire. Thank you very much for that. So, are they saying that they're not exactly completely evil? Probably the queen. Hi. Oh, she has a smile to die for. Well, 
So he blames her for his brother's obsession? What? No, 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 wait. What is going on? Did she just get the power from somewhere? Where is she getting this power from? Hello? She's hovering around him like a mosquito. That I like. Are you gonna transform? Oh, stop talking about it, do we? Thank you. And she looks pissed. Yeah, she finally gets her power back. Yusagi is now celebrating once more time, and Neo Queen's ready at the same time. Perhaps I was a little confused of where they were gonna get take Sapphire at some point in time. I haven't read the manga at all, so I'm not sure if they do the same thing in here that they did in the original anime, which they suddenly turn on Wise Man or Death Phantom, whatever you want to call him. But it does seem as though he's somewhat evil and then he turns even more evil kind of interesting way to go about it is there like a higher evil a next level evil or something like that like they're not completely evil just evil enough <laughs> you know that might be an animation mistake for the black jewels and her dongas but that was a nice touch <laughs> Where is she getting this power? Can you find me a whole stack of gold while you're at it? Uh, do you feel the walking dead standing right behind you? What the hell? Get truncated transmission sequences. The answer is probably no. Yep, that is. It is the power. She's got the power. <laughs> that looks like one of those monsters from Symphony of the Night for Castlevania. I like that. Causing words of disaster. What does that mean that there was something wrong going on with our eyes? What is she doing now? What the Christ? I like it, whatever it is. They just said that. Yeah, it is the Death Phantom that is actually controlling all of them. Starting to show that. Mm. Oh, launch! Let's do it! What is that pose? They show all of their attacks. All the attacks they gained throughout this arc. Rubius is turning. She's gonna kill Rubius? Wow! A lot of different new and uh, new powers that she's getting in this episode alone. Too late. She just did, you don't. 
Yeah. One thing Yusagi did not think about. We're going into this storyline. Is this gonna get us creepier than normal? They're running without moving their legs. This is just that epic. So activated from Neo Queen Serenity? So unsure how that happened. Interesting indeed. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. That was such a great episode. Just the fact that we got all sorts of movement in the actual story. Uh, the black lady sh teasing of the black lady has actually been formed. The idea of the Black Moon family is suddenly falling apart and Rubius dies at the hand of black lady. Oh. Not too much in the way of animation mistakes. That one little animation mistake that I pointed out was one that I actually made it better. That was one of the few times that actually happened. Wow. But, yeah. It's just, whoa. This makes me want to see more. This actually makes me want to see what Act 23 has in store for us. Because, holy Christ. This was an amazing episode. I just... It would take me a long time to get through all of what was so good about this episode. Just the action, the ex explanations, and the whole struggle between evil versus higher evil and how the philosophy of all that comes into play. By the way, speaking of next episode, let's get to what this has in store. <laughs> アンコクの女王ブラックレディ。暗黒の支配者ワイズマンに選ばれ、暗黒の星ネメシスの女王として生まれ変わったのよ。もうあの時のちっぽけな私じゃないわ。アクト<笑><笑> next episode is going to get into the black lady. And more of Wise Man. We haven't seen enough of him, apparently. Let me first get to something that was worrying me about how Sailor Moon Crystal was going into this episode. Was that it didn't seem like the good guys were a ever able to really win. It seemed like everything was going wrong with them. And that's one of the things that I didn't really like about some of the earlier toy animation series. Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, the first anime series was... More with that Dragon Ball Z, they had a thing where the way they stretched out everything was to just have it to where everything went wrong for the bet for the good guys. Like they couldn't get a win, they couldn't ever get a break. Here, it seems though it was more heading down that path again. But now it seems like the good guys finally got a victory. The heroes finally got something that fell into their lap, and I enjoyed that. That's the one of the bigger payoffs of this whole arc so far, is just the way that they set up the Black Moon family, the Black Moon clan, suddenly falling apart, and Nubia said, fuck this shit, I'm done. This is way too much, and the way that we now see that the Doom Phantom, or the Death Phantom, whatever you want to call him, is suddenly taking full control of Prince Demonte, and suddenly deciding that we're, su we're actually seeing that he's got this this vice grip on this family and he's actually controlling the Monde in ways you could not imagine and I enjoy it. I enjoy it a hell of a lot. This is an awesome episode. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Sailor Moon Crystal React Through. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Always helps me out. Fan interaction. This gets this video noticed. Thank you very much. My name is JD's Shadow and that just happened.